spent $40,000 on a brand new shipment of brand new in the box couches. What's up everybody, my name is Corey of Mission Side Hustle and I'm on a mission to turn $500 into $1 million. Currently the channel net worth is $103,948. Now guys, I've been gone for a long time. So to make up for that, today's video is very, very long. I've been traveling with my family to finish up summer before the kids go back to school. So that's why I've been gone for a bit. Glad to be here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with all that said, let's get started. Do you see this warehouse? This warehouse is about to get packed. partner I'm not sure that's him. what's up guys oh, waiting on the truck oh uh park over there by my van yeah my guy should be here any minute. no problem I got these these amateurs over here to help out today if they get out their car is he hot asking for help oh, he wants a spotter I think the camera guy uh yeah why don't you hold that yeah I don't think he needs a spot after all. He was honking for another car. You see, I learned my lesson this week and I ended up hiring some help because I'm not doing the stuff with just me and Chris ever again. What's up, man? I'm Corey. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Obviously today, you can tell that I hired some help. We've got two guys that I hired in the truck. And we've got my friend Rick, who actually, funny enough, is the guy that got me started on YouTube, or interested at least. And then uh, one of our friends named Henry, who's helping us out as well. So this is going, no offense to Chris, love you Chris, but this is going way better than last time when it was him and I. Frankly, I think I'm, I think I'm still traumatized from that event. But for now, we're already almost done. It's been like an hour and 15 minutes. Way better this time. Henry, you're a good man. I don't care what they say about you. <laughs> Who said what? Uh, nothing. Gotta go. All right, I'm trying to find my tape so I can see if, uh, like, what measurement we need to use that second rack. Man, this is some sweaty work, man. Gotta sweat off those bratwurst. Yeah. No, I mean, I... All right. All right, 
It's gonna have to be three. <laughs> Smoking. Oh, hey. <laughs> Never mind. Actually, the forklift is great. Nothing's wrong with it at all. Rick, you and I will probably get them in, push them off the side, and then stand them upright to take up the least amount of space. Wide low, coming through. <laughs> All right, um, we're just gonna slide them off here, push them to the wall, and we'll stand them up. All right, I just told the guys to load this pallet up because I'm about to do that one right there and there is no uh, real height limit. Like these are these are a bit more limited. I can only go three up, you know, three up, three up. I can probably go five up, maybe six up on that one. So they're gonna load that, I'll fork it in. And I think we're like almost done. We're, we're going pretty, we're going pretty quick on this one here. All right, we're gonna find out. Now Rick's also helping me out. He's putting the three pieces here. So when we're done with this today, I'm gonna set up a display for the beige and then I'm gonna set up a display for the other color. It says dark gray, but I think it's actually like a lighter gray. Uh, so we'll see what they look like once everything is unloaded. And then we'll start selling. I think I'll start selling. I might start selling today. Who knows? We'll see. All right, last two. Man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, let me pay you guys up real quick. Where do you want me to sign? No matter. Just anywhere. All right, boys, that's a wrap. Woo. Appreciate you guys very much. Thank you. I would not have wanted to do that without you, Rick. Thanks, man. You're a good cameraman too, by the way. I think I might have to keep you around. Hey. <laughs> when you make it big. You just remember, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold him to that. <laughs> All right, so we got the whole thing unloaded. That took two hours and 15 minutes, which is like half as long as it took Chris and I last time. Money well spent on those guys and also paying out my friends here. So we're gonna go grab some lunch. I'm gonna take a little break. It's hard work. Hey, it's hard work driving that forklift. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, okay? And then after I get back here, when we're done eating, I'm gonna set up maybe one, definitely one, maybe two of them, because I got two colors. I got uh, a beige and then like a grayish color. So I'll set those up. Maybe get some pics, post them, and start making some sales. I think these, I think these are gonna do even better than the last ones, but we won't know until we start selling. Let's go. Like a lot of you guys, I faltered. I almost, almost faltered. And in fact, I almost didn't come back today. You see? I went right next door, ate a chicken parmesan sandwich. It was 
magnificent and I really wasn't in the mood to come back into the heat and to, to do these couches here after eating. But I'm trying to make some money today or tomorrow or the day after, but we're trying to make some money in general. And we gotta get these open to do that. And the only way for us to do that is to start opening these sets up, getting the display set up, and getting some postings online. So let's crack one open and see what we got. Oh wow, these feel, these feel way better than the old ones I had. I'm worried about this color though. Uh, not for sales. For sales, this color is going to be awesome. But in the warehouse, this could get dirty. Let's see. Plastic feet. I don't love that, but so far, the fabric's better and the color's better. So I'll take that for now. I think based on what I'm seeing here, these are gonna sell way better than those ones I have back there. I gotta be careful though, I'm getting stuff, I really am getting stuff dirty, so I gotta be a bit more careful. Probably should have saved the setup for a different day when I'm not all dirty from moving the stuff in. Ooh, baby, these are about to sell, I'm telling you right now. Mark my words, these things are gonna move. This color where I live is hot. It's a hot color. I'm not even gonna sit on it though. Uh, give me a second, let me cool down. Woo! Okay, so here's the deal on this one. Four piece sectional with an ottoman as opposed to the older ones, uh, as opposed to the other models I got, they were corners and armless. This one's corner, corner, armless and ottoman. I've got them in this, this is, this is considered beige, but it's, it's not quite a beige. It's almost like an off-white, which is, which is really what I want if I could pick between the two. A uh, beige to me would be a bit more tan, but this is, this is really good. It's also super hot today, and I'm kind of tired from doing the unload and then setting that up. So I'm gonna save uh, the other set. I'm gonna come back and do that another time. But for now, I'm gonna go home and post this one today and uh, see if we get some messages. So let's pack up and get out of here for now. All right, so it's been about five days since we got that shipment in. I haven't sold any yet, but we're about to go show one right now and they want to make it a five piece. So this could be a pretty good sale to make it happen. And on top of that, we got a lot of other stuff going on. I'll tell you about that in a minute. All right, so I still do have a few of those older sets that I was selling before, the darker ones. And I'm gonna go deliver one today. So I'm almost out of those. And then something really big's happening too. My name hot. I'm actually like a minute or two behind, so I gotta hop out real quick and show this thing. Strikeout. I would say generally, I close most of my showings, but not all of them, as you can see. <laughs> you know, the point is, I can't let that bum me out, although I would have liked to sold that. This doesn't always pan out. Just gotta keep driving ahead, 
This is what we're gonna do right now, is delivery. Okay, I got pretty lucky in that this place was only like 10 minutes away from the warehouse, so super easy delivery. Okay, so that one was a $1,500 sale. About a 750 profit. Oh, I can't pick up my keys. About a 750 profit, roughly. I, I'm gonna sit in this AC for a minute. It's hot in Florida during the summer, if you didn't know that. I know, hard to believe. Uh, all right, so here's the deal that I wanna talk about before. I have said for a while now, I can't disclose where I get this stuff. I can't disclose how you can get them, but that has all changed. I worked it out with a supplier where I can actually now start helping people place orders for these sets and today we got the first guy that's going to come by and pick some up. In the future I'll just have them shipped out to people but today he's going to come by and pick some up. And today I'm just going to give him like 15 sets to get started but in the future minimum orders are going to be like 30 sets and maximum like when I order them is going to be like I think 50 sets per order. So uh, I'll talk about it at the end of the episode if you guys are interested in making an order or want to find out what it takes I'll talk about it at the end of the episode. Uh, but for now, let's get some out and help them load up. Not really, it's, it's pretty hot out here. But at any rate, he, he took eight sets, which is fine. That'll help him get started until he's able to make a bigger order. Uh, I have plenty to spare because I've got quite a bit in here right now. So I am going to call it a day. Uh, I sold him eight sets for just my cost. I didn't upcharge him or anything like that. And in the future, the price is actually gonna come down on these sets a little bit. So this will be the last time I, we have to pay that much. This should be coming down a little bit. So that'll, that'll be nice when that happens. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, probably, i take a shower. That's a good idea, I'd say. So hopefully some real sales coming up here very soon. We've yet to make one with the new set, but I've got a ton of messages. Actually, look at these metrics right here. Look at these metrics. I've got a ton of views, a ton of saves, a ton of messages. Just haven't closed the sale yet. It's gotta be coming. Okay, I'm in a little bit of a hurry because Someone's coming by to check out these new sofas. And yesterday I just put together the other piece. Uh, same thing, it was pretty easy to do. So today we're doing another showing. Let's see if we can actually get one sold. We haven't sold one of the new ones yet, but I think today might be the day. now by the way than last ones I used to sell uh, the last eh, the last model I used to sell by the way is I'm selling these for more money I'm charging sales tax now before I would just include that as a price but now I'm explicitly saying 7% sales tax on top so we're gonna get that sold for 1400 bucks plus a $50 delivery it's a little bit further than I normally go it's about 45 minutes away and then sales tax on top of all of it so this one pretty good sale for me we got a showing tomorrow, we got a delivery tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Okay, so I got good news, and well, I got some bad news too. So, good news, we're about to do our first delivery right now to find out how difficult this is gonna be. I think, I think it's gonna be kinda easy actually. And the bad news is the showing that was supposed to come here this morning, they canceled. And I'm in a hurry, so I gotta do this delivery fast. Let's go. This one 
box is kind of heavy, I'm not gonna lie, but the other ones are pretty small and easy. Downtown St. Pete. I love downtown St. Pete, but I'll tell you what I don't love about downtown St. Pete is deliveries because this is going to be an apartment. They say there's a freight elevator. We'll see what that looks like in a second. Uh, of course, I hit traffic on the way down here, but we are not deterred. We're going to make this happen. So we're about to pull up, get this big old box out of here, get it up there, get our money, and hopefully do another one. Hey, Corey, how are you? Hey, good, Clark. How are you? The key to I go to pick up the parking garage to get in. Um, then we can use the elevator. Okay, cool, cool. All right, first sale in the books. He paid cash. It's fourteen hundred for the couch, and then I do charge I do charge sales tax now. Previously, I was paying that out of pocket, and those days are done. So that one's actually a fourteen hundred dollar sale. Cost of goods eight hundred bucks. Profit, $600. On to the next one. Okay, so I'm on a pretty tight time constraint today. Uh, I've got meetings all afternoon. It just happens to be an extremely busy day for me, but we've got enough time to knock out one delivery. It's for that couple that came by just the other day. Uh, so I'm gonna, I loaded up the stuff in the back here just a little bit ago. We're gonna drive this over, drop this off, collect our money, call it a day. And I've got one really big problem, and it's that I'm leaving town for like two weeks and we leave in six or seven days. So I've gotta get as many sales taken care of as we can before then. So we just got these sets in and we really need to collect some money. So let's make that happen right now. All right, pulling up right now. We're gonna back in, get this thing thrown out of here and jet right back home because I got meetings all day long. It's a busy one. So glad we got this one done first. I'd like to have one of those. Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> let's go talk to him and get this thing unloaded. Okay, we are out of here, baby. That was super fast drop off, probably like a, I think it was maybe eight minutes. So on that set, the total we collected is 1548. I am gonna have to pay $98 in sales tax uh, every quarter on that. But for now, our actual profit was probably like 650 bucks. So like I said, I got a busy day. This whole ordeal took about two hours total, including like load, drive, drop off, everything. So pretty happy with the results, but for now, gonna call it a day and hopefully we get some more sales coming soon okay so we're back at it we got another sale to do today delivery and assembly and sales tax so this one's about to be big too uh, just a little problem I gotta get this last item out of the way I gotta scoot that out of there and then I gotta get that stuff in the van so let's get to it <laughs> I don't even really have time to be filming, let alone even probably making a delivery, but when the sales come in, you gotta take them. Because if you don't take them, someone else will. And I'm gonna take them. 
Okay, pulling up right now. Like I said, big hurry, so not gonna do a lot of filming today. Let's get it in, let's get it unloaded, let's get it set up, let's get our money, and let's get out of here. It's all said and done, got the sale finished, delivery, setup, couch, 1573. That includes the couch, the sales tax, the delivery, and the setup, 1573. Bought it for 800 bucks. That is a $773 profit. Not bad. It's an empty box, by the way. I take the trash away because I'm a nice guy. So unexpectedly, I have kind of a clutch last minute sale that we're gonna go take care of real fast. Because tomorrow morning I'm heading out of town for about two weeks on a family vacation before you know, summertime wraps up here and school starts again. And this sale is really significant and important because it's our fourth one since we got these new packages in. And I need four sales a month to break even. So because young Christopher did so good last time I was out of town selling for me, I'm gonna have him do it again this time around as well. And because the time frame's a lot longer this time around, oh, yeah. I'm gonna throw him a little cash for every sale he makes. So, I don't know, I'm thinking probably if he meets somebody here and sells one, 50 bucks, if he delivers it, I'll let him use my van and I'll give him, I'll give him 100 bucks, I'd say, per sale. So, we're gonna deliver this one first, and then Chris is gonna take it over. So we'll wrap up this sale, and then I guess we'll just see like, how much Chris can sell in the next, you know, two weeks and that'll give us a really good final number. So first things first, we gotta get this one sold and delivered. Oh. Alright, now this last one's actually so heavy, I'm just gonna break it down and take the pieces out at the bottom of the staircase because this is gonna be really hard to get up there, definitely by myself, and I, I really don't wanna make anybody help me when I'm doing delivery. Uh, so let's just open it up and take it up there. Alright, pretty easy setup. I did have to take that box apart as you guys saw and get it up there. Not too bad, made it a little bit easier. But for now, we're all done. I gotta head back to the warehouse. One last thing. I do have to kind of prep the warehouse for Chris and make sure he can access everything easily, like my forklift's not in the way. So once we get that done, we'll be out of here. What's up, man? Living the life. Living the life indeed. Well, 
professional gambler. I was, <laughs> I was calling real quick, so I'm getting ready to leave my warehouse for the last time until I get back. And I set it up for you to where like my forklift and stuff's out of the way. I have all of your businesses in my hands right now. You are, dude. You're my greatest ally or my worst enemy, one or the other. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes by the time I get back. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, and with that, stage is set. We've already broken even for the month. Everything that Chris makes will be profit from here on out. All it's left to do now is go on vacation and see if he makes some sales. Let's find out. Well guys, I'm back. I'm finally, finally back. Guys, I, I feel like I've been gone for a lifetime. So basically, we have friends that live in Hawaii, so we went out and visited them, and the thing about Hawaii is it's very, very expensive. So if you have friends that live in Hawaii, and you got a free place to stay, you better go. <laughs> but the thing that's really rough about being there is I thought I was gonna be able to get a lot more work done just remotely, and it was so hard with the time change. So. We did make some sales though. We did make some sales while I was gone. So let's go over all the financials this episode. Now while I was gone, Chris did make two sales and I think he could have got more, but the problem was I was on a six hour time difference. So trying to communicate with customers and coordinate with Chris to meet them here to deliver, it was, it was pretty tough. So we only had two that were actually finalized, but I do have a lot more on the docket here, people that are still interested, and I'm gonna try and close them in the coming days. But as it stands right now, our total sales so far are $19,367. Our cost of goods is $13,492, which gives us a gross profit of $5,875. I do have operational expense of $2,965. That covers my rent, the people to help unload the truck, all the things for my vehicle. So I was only left with a net profit of $2,910 this episode, but let me remind you, I've been gone for a long time. Time. And now that I've got everything loaded in here, I think we're set and ready to go with these new sets. And speaking of the new sets, I mentioned it last video, but if you're interested in making an order as well, you guys can email me at missionsidehustle at gmail.com and I'll get back with you guys on some information there. I got, I mentioned this last video and I got over 400 emails guys. So please, if I don't answer right away, just give me some time. I'm trying to get back with everybody here. And please keep in mind, there is a minimum order of 30 sets. So when you're ordering them, you're talking probably $25,000 to get a 30 set minimum. So just keep that in mind when you're making some plans. So when it's all said and done, you add everything up, we have a new channel net worth. And it is, and I gotta start writing them down because they're getting long and hard to remember. $106,858. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I missed you guys, glad to be back. I'll see y'all next week.